What's up guys? In the next four minutes and five slides, I'm gonna take you through multi-party computation in crypto and make it as easy to understand as possible with a couple of really simple examples. So first up, what is multi-party computation? It's a protocol or a set of rules that enable knowledge creation without disclosing the underlying data. And that knowledge creation in the example is gonna be that a private key is correct and the underlying data will be the private key itself. So the user will be able to enter their wallet without any one entity knowing what their private key actually is. What does it do? It allows for data to be shared and used privately without the need to trust a party with the data. So obviously privacy, trustless trust, and the distribution of data, three things that are you know tantamount to the the mantra of blockchain and we can see why this as a technology is something that fits really well something we're going to hear a lot more of and something that yeah it's going to be pretty useful for you guys to understand um so here is our example we have three parties one is you or me the input party uh, with their private key hold the door the second party are the nodes uh, they're the computing party and the third party is the result party who is like your let's say your wallet provider that's going to verify that this private key is correct and you'll be able to enter your wallet and use your funds this is actually quite similar to the method credo uses uh, to decentralize their private keys it's also very similar to what lf0 do and um, in terms of the splitting up of trade data so you the user initiate a trade they'd split up the information of that trade the time uh, the amount, the token being traded to various different nodes, and then it would be passed on from there. And that would stop um, the potential for malicious actors running the nodes to actually front run the trades uh, that are coming in, especially the large ones. And if they're the kind of projects that interest you, that's exactly what we cover on this channel. We're all about getting into stuff early uh, and creating opportunities for our subscribers to you know, make the big biggest gains by being the first in the door. And the other place we do that is in our Telegram group, which is also linked in the description. Shill finished, back to the example. So you as the input party, have your private key, hold the door. The first node receives the first two words, hold the, the second node receives the second two words, the second and the third word, the door, and the third node receives the first word and the third word, hold door. So you can see there's a doubling up of each word and no one node clearly has your entire private key. From here, node one and node two can verify that the second word is the, node one and node three can verify that the first word is hold, and node two and node three can verify that the third word is door. Once they have done this and verified them, they can put this information together and give to the result party just the fact that it's verified. They don't even have to say, you know, yes, the private key is hold the door. There you go. This can be encrypted uh, and verified to the result party who will then let you into your wallet. And that's kind of, you know, a very simple high level overview example of multi-party computation at work in private keys. A couple of key points to note on this. Uh, the data is split up and sent to the computing parties. Also, there may be more than one input party and there may be more than one result party. Again, this is just simplified to make it as easy to understand as possible. And I've linked an article in the description that goes into more detail and you can go down the rabbit hole as far as you wish on this. Um, in terms of the computing parties, they compute the function. It's then encrypted and distributed to the result parties. So yeah, there may be more than one. And the result may or may not be the same as the input. So if it was the same, uh, the result party would get the private key. In this case, they just get the information that it's correct. That is MPC in a nutshell in four minutes. Cheers, guys.